Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today we are going to do another uh, segment of my 5 minute reviews series. Um, and today we are going to review The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I do not have a physical copy because I read it as an ebook. I was provided an uh, arc from that galley uh, in exchange for a honest review which I am going to give to you today in five minutes. The Hazelwood is the story of Alice Porcupine and she is uh, the granddaughter of Althea Porcupine who wrote the uh, Tales of the Interland which is a book that is now um, not in publishing anymore and is very ra rare so she has never read any of the stories in this book but she becomes uh, entangled with those stories. It is very eerie and I was uh, very intrigued because it is about fairy tales and not um, like fun fairy tales. They were creepy fairy tales. So it was fun for that. The one thing I really enjoyed is the Interland world. I thought it was very interesting and I loved the dark fairy tales but I was very sad uh, that there wasn't like a lot of it. Um, I think the book starts to mention the interlands a lot at around the half of it and the adventures really begins like at least after the half of it. So it takes a while to show you the world and introduce you to the characters and I thought that was a bit lacking. I wished we had seen more of the interworld, interland, sorry, because it is so fascinating and I wished there was like just an actual Tales of the Interland I, we could read because that would be very fascinating. I would really enjoy that and I would definitely buy that. <laughs> um, so yeah. I really enjoyed Alice. I thought she was a very interesting character. The only thing that really bugged me was uh, her uh, growth throughout the book. Um, it felt like the growth was very self self explained. What I mean by that is was it was that in the end, um, Alice kept on saying that she felt different, that she didn't know where to go because she wasn't the same and it was it kept on repeating it but not really like showing it I like stories that show the growth of characters without only saying like oh she grew oh she's different this thing is different in her so that was uh, pretty sad but um, apart from that the other characters were actually pretty uh, not boring but unexplored I felt like they weren't developed anymore a lot which is um, okay because I guess Alice is the main character but it's also fun to see m more of just the main character. Um, it is very beautifully written. It is amazing. You have no idea how beautiful the writing is but the story the, the storytelling is not as good as the writing itself. The, I mean the phrases and the sentences are amazing and beautiful and I kept on reading and reading and reading because I loved the writing but the storytelling wasn't as good as the uh, writing which is sad because sometimes I felt like we were thrown in a direction and thrown in, in another and I felt lost quite a lot in this book. Uh, but overall I really think it is a an interesting book and if it sounds good f to you go and read it it is very beautiful very interesting dark fairy tales are not explored a lot overall even though i think it was a uh, not the greatest book ever i couldn't put it down every time i picked it picked it up i read like a hundred pages in a row because I couldn't stop reading it. So overall, I think it is a very good book. I think it is worth the read, but it wasn't the most amazing thing. So maybe don't buy it new, <laughs> What is what I'm saying. Uh, three stars. It is uh, coming out today on the 30th of January. I am convinced people will really love this book. It actually received quite a few four and five stars reviews. I just don't think it was for me personally like quality wise 
so guys um that is it uh if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know down below in the comments are you excited to read this book have you read this book and if you did let me know your thoughts